I am so excited. If you're watching this video, you're looking for a scooter and that is a lot of fun. I don't know if you how much you've looked at this point, but there are a lot to choose from. And when I was first looking myself, I was so like really scooter clueless. Um, and I really researched it to death. I thought I made a huge mistake. And that's the point of this video. I want to tell you the one thing that I did um, that I wish I had done differently. And I'm also going to give you a tool that will help you compare and uh, at least narrow down your choices, if not solidly pick your scooter. Renee with Scooters for Newbies here. I messed up so badly. I bought a scooter with an engine size that was too small. Okay, now that I got that out of the way. No, seriously, I did. I picked a Buddy Kick and that scooter is so cute and it fits me well and it rides well and checked all my boxes off. Um, but I don't know how much you know, but when you look at the engine sizes on the scooters, they come in the CC and essentially the bigger the number, the faster that scooter can go. So I have roads around me that I was gonna be you know, driving on that are 45 miles per hour maximum speed limits. Um, but I didn't take into consideration that people around here drive 55 to 60 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour um, zone. So that's fine. That buddy kick is totally fine for that speed. Where I run into problems though is whenever I hit 55 and 60 mile per hour speed limit roads, um, my scooter, when you add 10 to 15 miles per hour on it, it's just not designed to go those speeds for that long. And those little 10 inch tires, I mm -mm. So I've seen 63 on my speedometer, but it's not something I do on the regular. So kind of in the market for a, a 300 uh, CC scooter right now. I've only had my scooter for like 15 months. So I'm like, do I really need it? I'm thinking through that, but that's what I wanted to share with you. Make sure you understand the speed of the roads that you plan to be driving on. The, I, I thought I did right. 45 miles per hour, 125 CC to 150. We'll cover that. And the buddy does. Um, I just didn't think of all of it when you add in the extra. Um, and at the time I didn't really understand uh, to be safe on a scooter. One of the things that you do is make sure that you're going the speed that the surrounding traffic is going. Um, if you're putting along and I'm going 45 miles per hour and everybody else is doing 60, they kind of bottleneck up behind you and you run the risk of more aggressive driving behavior from your slow or speed, even if you are in the right. Um, but ultimately we're just trying to stay safe and that's where my mistake comes in. So I'm totally fine on most of the roads that I have around here, but in order for me to go like ride with friends, cause I don't have any scooter riding friends in the area that I live, I literally have to haul the scooter to another part of town, um, to meet up with friends. I just can't touch the, you know, 50, 55, 65 mile per hour roads. So that's where I messed up. And so definitely think through it. If you live in a city that, you know, where the speed limit is in the 30 mile per hour range and it's not too hilly, you can get away with a moped. Um, if you've got too many hills in that space, you're gonna want something a little heavy duty. And if you plan on any highway speeds, just look at 200 and up, don't even play. Um, and also a note of caution here, if it's like, I don't know, like the Lance Cabo 200, that's 170 CC. So just be mindful that even though they call it a 200, that might not actually be the size of the motor. So bonus tip, is that what we're going to call that? Um, anyway, so as far as the tool, uh, I, when I decided to start going on this path, I'm a data person by day and not Batman by night. Um, anyway. So I put together a spreadsheet of those that were in the 125 CC to 150 or so, um, just so I could compare. There's not dealers really around me. Uh, it's quite a haul for the ones that are within normal distant driving distance. Um, so I put together a list and at least narrow down and I've chose, I think I had it narrowed down to three. Um, and so then I went looking. And so that really helped hone it down. Cause really, well, let me look at this list here. Um, I have 56 gas powered scooters and my list here. Um, that's not the 125 to 150 CC. That's the tool I wanted to tell you about. Um, if you go check out the website, so it's scootersfornewbies.com slash choose. Um, and I'll link it just to make your life a little easier. But if you check that out, um, there is a basically a buying guide. So like, what do all these things mean if you don't know, but even if you do know what the little terms mean, like the different fuel injection types and brakes and tire sizes, even if you do know, I have a spreadsheet with 50 some odd, um, scooters on them. And so basically it's a spreadsheet so you can filter it in any way that you care. So if you really want to hone in on the list of 50 CC scooters, you filter on that column. 
go check that link out and again it's down below here but um also make sure like subscribe and if you end up buying a scooter i do have instagram scooters underscore for underscore newbies um and i tag me in it i would love to see what scooter you end up with because these things are so much fun